On this gorgeous morning, we had a lot planned for today. So we got up bright and early and started with a thrilling Tarzan park, followed by some much needed AC in the aquarium. And we rounded off the day visiting the local pearl farm. This is the story of a family of four traveling the world as often as possible, sharing their adventures. Join us all on this season as we find exciting new places to explore living this crazy life on the go. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and then also get notified when we release new videos. It really helps us out a lot. How's dad feeling about this? Are you a little, little nervous about heights or? I'm scared of heights. No. Not at all. I'm okay. just like, no. I know I'm not scared of heights. This tooth is still bothering me. Okay. But it's, the rest of it's starting to feel a little bit better, right? Good. Let me see your gloves. Ooh, I like it a lot. Muy macho. Kitty paws. <laughs> Muy macho. All right, look at this. We got harnesses. Woo! Okay, who's first? Uh, Other left. <laughs> and it never fails. As soon as you get the kid all suited up, they have to go to the bathroom and you have to start all over again. It's like a snowsuit. I know. Do you have to go? Yep. Go. So on and off. This is what we should have done the first time. Instead of the big giant zip line, we should have done something like this where you kind of lean into it. Yeah. Smaller. We play the clip. Yeah, there you go. And roll it. Any profound words to say before your monkey swinging adventure? Like, ooh, 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 I want to be like you, ooh, ooh, yep. on the butt. <laughs> you pull your pants down. <laughs> there you go. Right. Oh, they're all set. Okay. I had to take it down. Yeah, because I won't fit your helmet, because you have to use a kid's size helmet. Yes, I have to wear a kid's size helmet. Yeah. After getting our gear on, we got a short safety briefing where we learned the different pulleys and hooks to keep us on the ropes. We then each took turns practicing our new skills. Perfect, come on monkey. Girl. Just put your weight down. Mm. I'm <laughs> Gotcha! That's why you wear a helmet. You're not tall enough. That's just dad's dad's style of zip line right there. It was really windy that day, and once River saw how high the first zip line was, she decided she didn't want to do it. So she and Joel watched from the sidelines. It was probably a good thing she didn't go because some of the rope activities were really hard and the wind added that extra challenge. This, this. Holy, look at that. What the? <laughs> Woman without fear, go. Are you gonna be okay getting yours on there? Yeah. You sure? Woo, shit. <laughs> that was fun! Hi, baby! <laughs> You're backwards! Don't worry, don't worry. Whee! I got my helmet! Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta tuck the camera in so I don't lose it. 
Oh, what are you doing? This is a hell of a workout. Oh, 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 oh dear. Get to moving, Des. Oh, just step through. He got it. Grab right here. Got it. Pull yourself forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing ballet. And you're in ballet class. Do I make it look sexy? You make it look something. <laughs> make it look special. Workout for the year. It's a hell of a workout. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of kind of everything arms, legs. Good job, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. What did you think though? Fun. Fun? I'm proud of you for doing it. Yeah. Now aquarium. It's just an aquarium. Would you do it again? I would do it again. Yeah? It was, it was hard, but it was fun. Yeah, I'm yeah. proud of you guys. Good job. It was neat. I liked it. River. <laughs> River like the uh, the small <laughs> zip line. The other one was just too big. It was just too high, high for you. Yeah. I'm just no worries, they actually get a lot lower. But yeah, they, they're really not that they're really not that big. It was they're definitely smaller than the one that you did with dad in the uh, Philippines. But the cables would have been really hard for her. Yeah, they were way up there. It, it wasn't that they're they're just wobbly. Huh. So and it kind of hurts the bottom of your feet. And so and and the distance between the bottom bottom cable and the top cable when you have to hold on, like the tall ones, she wouldn't have been able to reach. Okay. It's well, she keeps uh, mentioning the fact that she's hungry. Of course. Surprised. Are you surprised that River's hungry? Cheeseburger. It is so toasty. My helmet's not even staying on anymore. <laughs> oh my, my helmet's not even <laughs> That was fun, though. I'm really glad we did it and we didn't quit. And uh, well, I didn't quit. Well, I know, but I almost called it quits like after the really hard one it was almost like oh we should quit does i'm really glad we didn't because it was fun we worked up a heck of an appetite climbing like tarzan and we didn't have to go far to find a beautiful view and some food one of our favorite activities we enjoy doing when we travel is to visit the local aquariums 
Today was extremely hot, and the best way to beat the heat is inside in the air conditioning. What? You got all the money, honeys. I do. Whoa, what is that thing? Oh, river. That's cool. Ooh, Fire know. spiny eel. Hey, buddy. It's oh. so adorable. Why is it cute? Are these supposed to be menacing? <laughs> This is also a good educational experience for all of us. Since Des knows so much about marine life, he teaches all of us the fun facts. What is it? Stonefish. Oh, it's a stone. Another poisonous creature. Poisonous bite. <laughs> Are you liking Wait, it? Guys, find the fish. He's hiding, isn't he? Yeah. Whoa, look at that one. He looks like a firefish. Headbutt damselfish, but where's the headbutt damselfish? Uh, that's probably fair. What does it look like? Oh, uh, that is a swirl right there. No, it's there's, a there's brittle a... star. River, you see, you held these. Oh, my. <gasps> the brittle stars? You've held oh, those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Won't touch a bug. But I'll touch a star. Oh, it's a puppet fish. Hi, buddy. They're very shy. See? Green slime tougher. Good job, honey. Holy fuck, that fish is huge. It's not a jellyfish. That are plastic cups. And more than one million seabirds die each year from ocean pollution. Good reading, honey. What? Said, Look at the sea turtle hatchery. It's called the ocean. <laughs> After the aquarium, we walked a short distance to the Turtle Rehabilitation Center. It was neat to see another facility working so hard to help out these incredible animals. Earlier this year, Des needed to fulfill a community service credit for high school, so we teamed up with our local Rostenura Turtle Rescue. Part of Des's service was to walk a stretch of our beach twice a week looking for stranded sea turtles. It was also a great way for Des and I to spend some time together. So the other day, we, um, Rescued the turtle and we went to the turtle rescue house. What did you think of that? Pretty nice. They were healing a lot of turtles. So far, by now, four. Yeah. Well, Des and I are definitely trying. We we're walking through the water trying to find turtles and we found two crabs so far. <laughs> that one got us. We really thought it was a turtle too. It really looked like one. I don't know if I got it on film because it was pretty little, but man. All right, we're gonna keep trying. If you're interested in helping out the Rostenura Sea Turtle Rescue Center, I will put the link in the description below. All right, see how he's missing a flipper? So these one, the, the turtles here, there's something wrong with them. So they keep them in shallow water so they could stay alive because they might drown if they're in deeper water. My spare turtle, fat and out of shape, just wants to sit there. Oh, the turtles are sleeping. It's siesta time. I think we should take a cue from them and go take a siesta. What? Or maybe have a fiesta with a fiesta cerveza. <laughs> so, what's our plan right now, baby? We're gonna go to the pearl farm without Des. And what are you hoping to learn there? I don't know. I don't know anything about them. How much money it's gonna cost Dad to make me happy at a pearl farm? <laughs> yeah. We're going to the pearl farm so we can learn how they cultivate pearls. So there's a gentleman here, right here in this village, and he has a pearl farm, and so we're gonna go and 
have him teach us how he cultivates them. So it'll be nice. There's a lot of jellyfish up here. Now I'm 10, 11. <laughs> Whoa. Another one. There's one right there, River. Oh my gosh, look at all these guys. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow. 20, 20, 20, 20. So many jellyfish. We had no idea the havoc that these jellyfish were going to cause us on this trip. This was just the beginning. You always have to film the shop, kitty. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hi. Hello, little kitty. Oh, he must be playful. First of all, our farm, we have two parts. Okay. Here is where we do all the process. Okay. You see, can you see the blue and white voice over there? Mm -hmm. That's a farm. That's okay. That's where we grow the oysters. Okay. So, to make a pearl, basically, we have to put something inside the meat part of the oyster. Okay. It's like defensive mechanism of the oyster. We have to make the oyster open. So what we do, we just keep them outside water for about 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's like they, they need some oxygen and they just slightly open by themselves. Like that one right there, huh? Yeah, and so if you walk up, they were close, they pro but they probably want them open, so. To seed the oysters, they use two different sized seeds based on the size of the oyster and cut it down to smaller pieces and then form a round ball. They make the seeds out of the shells of old oysters and place it in the gonad, which is a sex organ, which actually has nothing to do with it. It's just the fatty part. Once we finish the process here, we're gonna keep the oyster in the net like this. Once the oysters are in the bay, they need to clean them and keep them free from barnacles. Every three weeks, each oyster is cleaned. And because they have so many, they're out there every day cleaning oysters. What do you think? Interesting. It's neat. Mr. Ung found the Pearl Farm in 1973. While talking to his sons in the shop, we learned that Mr. Ung is the only one who seeds oysters and is not ready to pass down the responsibility just yet. Seeding the oysters takes under two minutes. It looks like a simple process. However, the seeds must be placed perfectly to avoid rejection. That's it? Yeah. Well, that easy. wow. That's pretty quick. That's just weird. Now, if you leave it in there longer, does it get bigger? Yes. So the longer you leave it in there, the larger the pearl's going to be. Do they eventually just spit it out, though, if they're just sick of it? Yeah, normally, uh, after we uh, feed them, one, one month or one and a half month, we bring here again to check. Oh, makes because, sense. Because uh, normally, uh, seventy percent or sixty percent is a success. Okay. Yeah, thirty percent, forty percent, or it will spit out, spit out, empty seed. Yeah. But the empty seed, we have to reseed again. Uh huh. Yeah. And they just, yeah. And just keep doing it. Wow. That's a lot of work. I'm doomed. Doomed for my fate. I'm stuck here in a pearl farm, Color. in the store. Do you like that one? Yes. Perfect. So, where are you gonna wear your fan dancing new jewelry? I'm gonna wear my fancy dancing new jewelry uh, while I sit in my sweats and edit videos. Yep, yeah. Or when you go to parties. Or naps. Yeah, because I go to parties a lot. Mom. You see? I got super chill. After such a thrilling day, it was time to rest. Tomorrow, the adventure in Phuket continues with a snake show, dolphin show, and Joel and I celebrate our 21st wedding anniversary, 
with a rum distillery tour and dinner. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before heading over to Patreon, where you can support our efforts even further. You get exclusive content, ad-free videos, and so much more just for showing your love. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.